Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going into my football bag and giving you guys my top five football cleats that I still wear today. Now I've got a game going on in the back of me right now, so it might be a little loud. I'm gonna try to talk over it, but let's get right into the video. Now throughout this video, you're gonna see a collection of cleats, some from this year, some from past years, but these are the five, my five favorite cleats that I still use today. Now coming in at number five are the Adidas Freak Lows. Now these cleats are maybe five years old and these are still some of my favorites. So the top things I like about this cleat are the fit and the cushioning. It's a little bit of a heavier cleat. It's definitely something I use outdoors on grass. It gives you some of the greatest grip and still has some of the best fit of all the cleats today. Now the downsides to this are the materials are a little bit heavier and your feet do get a little bit hot. Let's get into number four. Now, some of you guys who have followed my channel for a long time recognize these cleats. I did a little bit of customization on these, but these are the Nike Vapor Untouchable Pros. Now, there were three iterations of the Untouchable Pros, and these are called the Vapor Untouchable Pro CF College Football Edition. Now, what makes this cleat so special is you get a single monochrome look of the cleat. Originally, the swoosh was white, painted that black, but you get an all you get an all red cleat and they had different colorways for different teams. Um, you also get a much more pliable upper. Now I did a review on this back when I got them, but you can see just how pliable this is. This is actually a very similar upper to the Vapor Untouchable 3 Pro cleats, um, only these came on the two. So these were limited edition. I don't even think they were sold to the public. You can find some of them at your, or you could use to find some of them at your outlets. But another good thing about this cleat is it's the last cleat, one of the last cleats that Nike actually used a carbon plate. Now, here's the thing about carbon, which is not used anymore. Not only do you have, you have to put a lot of force into the plate to actually get the return, the energy return out of the spring. So I'm talking, you know, 180 to 200 pounds and running fast. You really have to compress the plate to really get that spring out of it. So a lot of players don't do that. It's also expensive. They're not buying it. So I believe that's one of the reasons why Nike went away from the carbon. Number four. Coming in at number three, these are the Nike Vapor Edge Panda Dunk Cleats. Now, these are a version of the Nike uh, Pro cleats from this year. They have the new Vapor Edge plate. They have additional eyelets to kind of give you that some of that heel lock. Uh, it's my third favorite cleat just because you still get some of the, the look, the style. You get some of that heel lock. They improved the sock liner on the cleat, which gives you a little bit more compression while still allowing you to put your foot in and I mean, just look at the looks on this cleat. Now, some things missing from this are you don't have carbon, of course, with the Vapor Edge plate, and then you don't have a super high quality leather on this cleat. So still pretty breathable, still pretty lightweight, uh, but I would have liked to see, again, just a more high quality leather. Coming in at number two, these are the Jordan 1 Low TD football cleats. So these were new for uh, this year. I've got them in a couple different colorways. You see, this is the all black colorway uh, that I love. It's just super simple, gives you a clean look. Now, the things that I love about this cleat are the fit. This is the best fitting uh, vapor cleat that I've had probably in existence at Nike. Now, downsides to this are the leather is super high quality, um, but it also gets super hot. So this cleat gets uh, ridiculously hot, but it still has a good fit. And of course you get that vapor edge plate. So I love it for the simplicity of the cleat. I love it for uh, kind of the lock-in that you feel and just how fast you feel uh, overall. Now I wanna talk about my favorite cleat, my number one cleat. You guys may recognize this because they're based off of the original Vapor Carbon 2014 cleats. Now these are the Vapor Edge VC cleats. And the things I like about this are one, you got the Vapor Edge plate. This is a very good plate, probably the best that Nike has ever put out, even though it doesn't have carbon. Now the other thing is you've got a really lightweight uh, upper and cleat and a great fit. Now the tongue isn't an internal booty like some of the other cleats that I like, but you still have phenomenal lockdown with Flywire. So Nike doesn't really use Flywire in their cleats anymore. And so this is an old technology that still is one of the best. Now you have a low cleat to give you maximum mobility with your ankle. And that's why it comes in at my number one. So that's my video. Those are my top five cleats that are still in my football bag today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.